Welcome Tech Talkers, this is Craig for Mobile Tech Talk and today we're going to be unboxing it and getting a first look at the Xiaomi Yi camera. The Yi camera comes in at an amazing price point of $99 or £66.50 and is Xiaomi's competitor to the likes of the GoPro cameras. Let's take a closer look. So to start with, as you can see, the box is small and houses the very small Yi camera which is just 2.5 inches wide and weighs just 72 grams. That really is small. It sports a 16 megapixel resolution camera for photos and can record 1080p video at an astonishing 60 frames per second. As you can see with the device out of the box, it really is quite compact compared to other action cameras. We've got the white version here, but there's also a yellow version with green accents, or jungle as Xiaomi calls it. Xiaomi also sells a number of accessories such as a waterproof case and a selfie monopod to fit to the device, if you're that way inclined. There isn't much else in the box. Once I finish wrestling with the rather tightly fitted packaging, you'll see that the only accessory in the box is a flat USB to micro USB cable, approximately 6 inches in length. There's also a manual included. Unfortunately, unless you can read Chinese, it might not be much use. It comes in a strange split Chinese-English language print. Luckily, you won't need it beyond looking at the pretty pictures, as this device and the application are relatively straightforward. We'd like to see more globalization though, please, Xiaomi. Taking a closer look at the device, you can see a 155 degree wide angle lens as well as the on off button which doubles as a toggle for the photo and video modes. On the bottom is a standard 1 quarter inch mount screw and an LED. On the right side of the device is a Wi-Fi direct button which allows the transfer of photos and video capture to your smartphone. On the top of the device is a shutter button and another LED along with a pinhole mic. On the back of the device are covered slots for both the 1100 mAh battery as well as the micro SD, USB and HDMI out slots. The device itself is made from a polycarbonate plastic and whilst it feels light, it's sturdy enough to take out and about and get into some scrapes. Whilst the Yi camera can be toggled between photo and video modes from the device itself, it's infinitely easier to control the Yi camera functions from an application. Scan the QR code on the inside of the manual to download and open the Yi camera application itself. iOS devices are not yet supported. Despite there being workarounds on the Xiaomi forums, it seems they're currently only giving Google's Android any official love. Some of this application is in Chinese, but the individual elements are quite easy to understand. However, if you want to have an English version, head over to the Xiaomi forums to download a translated version. I'll leave a link in the description. When first downloading and connecting to the application, you might well be prompted, as we were, to upgrade the firmware and the application itself. Go ahead and do this to ensure the best possible experience from your device. Once open, turn on your Yi camera and click on the Wi-Fi Direct button until the blue LED flashes. Then, click on the red camera icon on your phone's application to attempt to connect to the Yi camera. This could take more than a couple of attempts at first whilst the Wi-Fi Direct connection is established, however, after a short while, the camera is found. Choose the camera that's been found from the list and a Wi-Fi Direct password is prompted for. Go ahead and accept the default password to connect to the camera. Once connected, you'll arrive at the photo screen most likely, where you'll find three visible on-screen selections. The left-hand circle takes you to the gallery of photos taken, the right-hand selection shows the photo options such as time-lapse and timer modes, whilst the button in the middle acts as a shutter button. You'll also get a live preview from your Yi camera in the top window, which is pretty handy. Simply hit the middle icon to start the photo capture process and the camera will take a shot. You'll notice a timer showing the photo has been taken on the preview window. Moving over to the video screen, the same buttons are visible, although the rightmost button is no longer functional. Taking a look at some settings, you can see the options for both video and photo are displayed in a scrollable list and are very easy to navigate. From here you can change the resolution of both the video and photo modes, whether a timestamp appears on your captures and the quality of the captures themselves along with much much more. Thanks for watching this unboxing and first look at the Yi camera. Stay tuned to the website for the full review. This has been Craig from Mobile Tech Talk.